Okay, so looking real cousin-ish. Hey y'all, it's your girl Nita and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've got a bop or flop review. And today's review is going to be on the P. Louise Oh So Brow to Full Brow Pencil and Gel. Uh, this came as a set for 16 pounds, which translates to $20.69 USD. You can also buy the pencil and the brow gel separately now on their website. And the pencil is $9, which is $11.78 USD. And the brow gel is 12 pounds, which is $15.70 in USD. So it is, from a standpoint of like, if you're already in the UK, or overseas and your currency is pounds it's actually really, really essentially cheap for you because you don't have to pay the extra shipping cost too if you are in the US it is going to be a little bit more expensive but P Louise now has affiliate program has an affiliate program so that everybody has a well most beauty gurus nowadays have a link I'm sure it's not like Morphe where you can throw a rock in the street and hit somebody with a Morphe code but there are a few out there I'll see if I can find some and list them in the description box along with the um, links to these items so I got mine in the shade espresso the other shades are hazelnut um, hazelnut latte Broutiful macchiato uh, macchio, let's see, so there's hazelnut latte, macchiato, and then the one I got, which is espresso. I believe hazelnut is more of like a ginger, ginger, like strawberry blonde ginger color, and macchiato is like a really light brown color, and then there's espresso, which is a dark brown. I believe they're going to be coming out with more shades. Um, but I don't know when I haven't seen any so but they have also a matching gel and pencil for each shade so yeah I got this set when P Louise was running a sale on their website they've been doing that a lot too where they've been doing a lot of sales and I got the shade espresso uh, this is the packaging if you get the gel and the pencil together you get this cup and I talked about this a little in my haul um, last week so I was just like super stoked when I like got this on sale so yeah a little bit about the products um, for the brow gel you get 14.5 grams 0.51 milliliters so for if you were to buy this separately so for 1570 you actually get quite a bit of product it's under the dip brow um, gel uh, and this is also tinted. I did see a video on P. Louise's story where they had used it as like a way to create that really fluffy natural looking brow where they just put a little on their hand and then they dipped it in a br dipped a brush in it and then created little hair like strokes. That looked really nice but I typically don't do like that really like furry like bushy feathery brow. Um, the pencil here is 16.16 grams point zero zero point zero um one ounces and for this one is nine pounds for 11.78 that's not bad that's actually not bad at all i think i bought a morphe brow pencil for like 10 11 dollars the other day the ColourPop pencil is six that's that's my favorite one like that's my favorite um i bought an la girl one the shady slim pencil is like four and change maybe six and change i think so it's not this isn't too bad when you buy them separately it's not too bad it's just the fact that like overseas typically p louise takes about two weeks to ship to the u.s i do hope they put they bring these to morphe because morphe has now become a distributor of p louise products right now they only have like the bases and a couple of the brushes i believe um but i hope i do hope they bring this to their website so if anybody's wondering what's on my face i am currently wearing the um fourth ray beauty avocado superfood nourishing mask on this little zit that decided to pop up last night i put one of the my zit sticker um zit killer patches or whatever over it and it was significantly smaller and it turned into like a teeny tiny white head but as i was washing my face i guess the warm water kind of irritated it and it essentially like popped <laughs> and it was so tiny and then it like swelled up so i put this over it to help 
with the swelling because normally that's what helps with the inflammation whenever I um, have breakouts moving on so I'm going to and uh, my timer's almost up for this so I'm gonna wipe this off I'm gonna zoom you guys in and I'm going to demo using the brow pencil and the brow gel hopefully the brow gel works as a like it like literally like can hold your brow hairs in place and this isn't just a tinted gel because I like gels that can hold your eyebrows in, in place I don't need more tint because I only fill in my brows just a little bit because I do still have quite a lot of brow hair I, my brows are just dumb and they're kind of like mildly shapeless so I have to shape them and when I shape them they look like distant cousins listen if you've been on my channel for a little bit then you know the running gag on this channel is sometimes my brows do not look like sisters sometimes they don't look related at all they they look like like adopted siblings and I'm just like So yeah, um, I'll be right back. Okay, so looking real cousin-ish, and um, that's just me filling them in, no gel. So I'm gonna grab my concealer, actually I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna grab my concealer and um, clean them up and get them into some semblance of an actual like real shape. And um, I'm gonna be right back, because it is, I have to be like right on top of my mirror in order to do it. So, I'm better. <laughs> much, much better. Much better. Much better. One is still... Whatever. So, now we're going to move on to the brow gel. Um, I just got concealer everywhere. Um, now we're going to move on to the brow gel. So, hopefully this lays down the brow hairs as well. I like this spoolie. Um, it's kind of 
big but I yeah. don't mind so it definitely does provide that tint um, definitely provides the tint this is a little dark I think definitely if I'm gonna be using this on a regular basis I would use this as like if I don't I wouldn't fill in my brow at all with the pencil I would only use this to fill in my brow you see the difference in this brow and this brow it's still soft though it's not like oh my god it's stark you know this dark color The tint is soft. The tint is still soft and it still looks pretty natural. It's not too dark. Like this espresso color is my exact brow hair color. Oh my gosh. Now, like, I have a hard time finding like an exact match to my brow hairs because normally pencils that would be like it look like an exact match would be like black and girl. Um, but this is literally the exact same color as my brow hair. Typically I use like a dark brown pencil so because that one gets close and it actually fills in my brows really nice be nicely but this I like this shade. I like this shade a lot. Um, it just fills it in a little like it doesn't do too much. I, I really like that. I like this and it definitely laid them down like oh oh yeah those these aren't going anywhere. Oh, oh, all right. These aren't going anywhere. Them brows are laid. The hairs are laid completely. Um, I have some little shorter ones at the tail of this brow. So they usually stick up a lot after I put on my um, brow gel, but they're laying as flat as can be right now. Like I've never seen them lay this flat. Oh, babe. This is nice. I like. All right, I'm gonna finish my face, and I'm gonna come back and let you guys know if both of these are a bop or a flop. Okay. So I hate that I tried to get outside to take some pictures and then lost my light quickly. Um. So I am back. Face is done. And guys, a serve. Ooh, this face. I. Mm, I just love when a good beat just happens except for this little zit right here this can this can really just try and this trying to ruin my vibe but the rest of my face is it I love it I'm wearing um, one of my favorite foundations it's the Urban Decay Stay Naked foundation in the shade 70 WY it is one of my favorite foundations and if you would like to see a list of my other favorite foundations there will be an eye above that you can click and check that video out so um for the brow brow products by P Louise this gel is a full bop for me it gave me a little bit of color filled in my brows just a little bit nothing too crazy and my brow hairs are laid when I say laid laid they they're not going anywhere and that's what I want I love the ColourPop brow gel a lot but it doesn't it doesn't hold your brows in place as firm as I would like it to, but I still really do love it because it does still give a nice soft appearance and it doesn't look like my brows are just like sticking to my like face. But this, this gave my eyebrow hair just such a soft looking appearance. They are laid completely down, no flyaways. I am impressed. I am shocked. I am shocked. At the lack of flyaways so the pencil the pencils a bop for me too um i like it a lot the color was great these two products have the best color match for my brow hairs if you have a similar color brow hair to me which it really is like a dark brown it's not like a it's like a cool tone dark brown it's not like a jet black then this is it for you there are a lot of pencils that say it's like they're like a dark brown but they're more leaning towards more black and i just can't with like a black eyebrow pencil that would it, that's just way too dark that's that's crossing into like three stooges like territory like it just it's just a no for me 
but um, this pencil was these two the pencil and the gel both have a great shade the shade espresso is really great so if you are someone with me with a similar brow hair color this will be perfect for you absolutely perfect um, in terms of application it was okay application wise for me it could be just a little smoother like I feel as though because it's it comes to like such a little sharp little point that it's just a little dry but not to where it's unusable um, the Colourpop pencil is probably the most like creamiest pencil I've used so that's typically like my standard in terms of like its texture but it was still good it still filled in my brows pretty well I definitely think this would be more in the realm of I would use it to line my brows versus fill in my brows like when I use the shady slim pencil by LA girl I use that to fill in my brows and versus lining them because the shady slim pencil just doesn't get rich enough to actually like provide a real line for my brow and as you guys can see I have to create complete and total magic <laughs> with these brows so yeah but I, I like it a lot they're very easy to use um only con is P. Louise does you know say they are UK based and it will take about two two weeks to get to you you do have to pay extra money for shipping um, I believe the shipping cost is like $9.99 which translates to like I think it was like eleven twelve dollars so you're buying this thing that's you're buying this pencil which would be nine dollars and then you're paying another nine dollars for shipping and I know for a lot of people that's like well, that's where we draw the line understandable completely understandable there's a lot of other pencils on the market that are actually really good um i really hope they bring this to morphe to the morphe site so that way people can buy it from there and have to avoid that shipping cost completely they'd only have to worry about at least for in the states you'd only have to worry about the regular morphe shipping which is like four or five bucks the spoolie on this is so nice and yo like putting this on in my brow hairs to fill in my brows and then like brush it out was so good like the product just softened out really really nicely I just I like it I like these a lot I feel like these for me at least for me they were worth the money and like I said there are a, quite a few influencers now with P. Louise um, affiliate codes so I'll leave a couple down below so that way you can see if you can try some if you would like to pick any of these items up P. Louise is very innovative in their packaging I'll give them they're innovative in their product like all the products I've tried for the, from them have been very good quality products so they managed to deliver when they when they when they say they're gonna do something they do it and they deliver and this was definitely really great I really love this a lot this was a good direction for the brand to move in from eye products eye bases to boom eyebrow products this was a really good step for them and I really like it a lot this is a definitely a full bop for me um this 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 is between the two I love this the most the gel I love the gel the most between it and the pencil so definitely I'll keep using both um especially since this eyebrow gel is laying these brows down for life uh I will definitely continue using it and the brow pencil I think I'm gonna more switch to using it just to line my brows versus to line and fill them in so yeah but that is it for today's bop or flop review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, I am uploading every Wednesday and Saturday. Wednesdays at 7 p. EST and Saturdays at 3.30 p. EST. Make sure to hit the bell down below so that way you can always be notified whenever I upload. In the description box will be links to the items used in today's video as well as a couple of discount codes if I can find some as well as links to all my social media. Thanks guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!